Hey everybody, it's Brandy and you're watching Abstract Crafter. Uh, we have a little post review today. Should be quick. If I don't ramble, you know I have a tendency to do that. So I just wanted to do a quick one on th this one that I had got, the Leisure Arts one that I had gotten from Walmart because I wanted you to see and make a judgment for yourself if it's worth it. And if your store hasn't gotten them yet, be patient. It will come. Uh, if not, you can always look for the regional manager's number or somebody that's higher up in the store. Talk to the store manager even. Uh, you, there's so many people that you can talk to and tell them that you want these in, your, in their store because other Walmarts have gotten it that you've seen online and most Walmarts are more than willing to accommodate their customers so as long as you're nice about it they will usually go out of their way and then they'll even let you know if that is possible if it can happen because a lot of this is automated now they they used to have a lot more control over what they ordered now it's literally a computer system that decides what stores get and what stores don't and, I, and if your store doesn't have a fabric area, it's going to be by, like, the stationery. Mine was on an end cap by where the cross-stitch kits were. Uh, like, mine, there's clothes on one side, and then there's housewares on the other side of the fabric and the stationery and the crafting area. So look in that area, and then if nothing else, look in the toys, but, you know, be patient. Not all stores are going to get them right away. It really just depends on the demand in your area. So, I have not finished the other one yet. I just wanted to get this one done, this little unicorn. And uh, I wish I still had the picture. So, I mean, we can kind of go off of this one. So, that's what it is claiming to look like. I, th I think it's pretty close. I think there's a lot more of this, like, gray color in there than I initially thought. And there's a lot of this, like, purple, this if I'm remembering, it's like 3041 and 3042. I'm probably way off on that, but you can see that it's not quite as white as I initially thought, but I do still really like it. This thing only took me two days. It probably would have went quicker if I would have done it a little bit more organized, but I did one full color and then moved on. Um, the only other thing that I didn't really care for was that this doesn't really stand out apart from it. I mean... It looks better on camera than it does in person, but I almost wish they would have added some of those ABs in there. The place that they do have the ABs is in the flower, and so I'll show you that up close. And so you can see that, that kind of highlights in there. But, I mean, you can see if my lights will... There you go. You can see how sparkly it is, so it is absolutely gorgeous. And then if we get up close, the cuts on these are pretty spectacular. Let me uh, autofocus this. So I don't know if you can see that, but maybe if we turn it sideways. But the cuts on these are pretty insane, which is why you get this intense sparkle like this. So turn that autofocus off. So yeah, I mean for $12.97, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, let's see. So I can't show you the original photo. This is the best I can do. And I threw the box away because I started hoarding every box for every diamond painting. And then I realized I didn't need that. The drills went on fine. They didn't really slide around too much. They, there was times when if I accidentally drop one on there, I could slide it into place. No problem. But it wasn't like slipping and sliding all over the place. As far as like leftovers and garbage, I was pretty impressed. So let's see. Let's get, yeah, this is all the garbage that I had, which is pretty good for this size. If you look at this little section here of these guys, these are the ones that really creep me out. And let's see if I can get it to focus. But these are the ones that have like a, a million holes on them. And I just can't get it to show you, so I apologize. I might be able to zoom in on it, but yeah, they have like a million holes, but really that's all the garbage that I got out of this, which is about what I'd expect. Some colors I didn't find any garbage, 
and the two colors that you see the most of are the ones that they weren't even majority color but those are the only you know it was like they either had a lot of issues or none and most of them are like this right here this how you can see it's bubbled the concave ones that's the majority of the problems I had other than like these ones that had millions of holes or like huge holes like this guy here it's you can kind of see it not really you know so other than that Not a whole lot. And then for leftovers, there's a lot left over. I'll show you the best way I can. So, I don't know if you can see in there. I mean, there's just a ton left over. And these are for a different one. So, I mean, I was pretty pleased with that. Like, ABs never usually have very many left over, but... They all had pretty much about the same amounts left over, which tells me that they give a certain percentage of overage. Uh, static was crazy insane on these, though, and I think it just has to do with the time of year and the weather. The only one that I had to use two Tic Tac containers for was this color right here, and this was the main color. <laughs> the main color of the main. <laughs> but typically, they had a lot left over. So that made me really happy. And obviously, I barely used any greens. You can see how much green and pinks and stuff are in there. And so I really didn't use a whole lot of those. But like I said, I wish there would have been... And I, if I wait too long, I won't be able to do this. But I can go through and pluck some of them out. Like maybe these ones where the lighter color is. I could pluck those out and put in some of the AB gems on my own if I really cared. But... It's not a huge deal to me. And, and that, so that's just a matter of personal preference. If you wait too long on these, there's no way you're going to get them off. Just the, the they start adhering and then they almost start fusing together. And I wanted to just wait and brush this off with you. The only thing I really don't like about some of these partials is they're very hard to clean. So if I... If there's anything nearby that gets on it, it's really hard to get off. As far as, I'll show you, there was a couple spots of um, overage, but let's just, you can hear a couple little pops, but, and that just goes to show how tightly they sit in there. And I think that's good. Sometimes I'll come in this way too, and just make sure I'm getting all angles. So, what in the world was I just saying? Um, oh, the glue over, there was a spot, I don't know, yeah, you can see it there where it's darker on the canvas. And then, so these few up here only had half of the glue, but they're still on there pretty good like I can't easily push them off but that was really the only spot where there's a lot of overage most of it was and then over on the horn too you can see it but for the most part like if you look along the side of his nuzzle muzzle nuzzle whatever that is you don't see a lot hanging over which is really nice on partials so I'm just trying to show you and it seems like maybe they were just off a tiny bit where you can see more glue on this side and less on this side. But they all adhered very nicely, very easily. And I think once this is cut out and framed, it's going to be gorgeous. So as far as, I know I didn't, I was so excited that I didn't give either of them a score. Obviously they were a 10 out of 10. Um, my experience with it, working on the canvas, it was very, I had a lot of fun working on this. It was fun because I was able to do one color at a time and kind of see it transform through colors. There's a couple ways I like to experience a canvas, and it's either section by section, like, you know, you take a little square and you divide it up and you see it come to life that way, or doing the whole color by color, which, I mean, I don't know how many other ways there are really to do it, but do it, I start with the least amount that I can determine, at least in my eyes, the smallest number of color, you know, like, I started with the dark pink and then worked my way out and then I started with like the browns and the 
dark browns and then moved into the majority color and it was it was a lot of fun to watch it come together I was excited to work on it for those two days I didn't want to put it down I just wanted to hurry up and get it completed so it did bring me quite a bit of joy I there was no need for me to communicate with the store but I did email them and one misconception that I think a lot of people have so this was an intermediate one and then there's the advanced ones, and my store didn't have any of the beginner ones. I think you can find those at Joann's and AC Moore. So really what it comes down to is the size. It, it has nothing to do with being a full drill or a partial drill because there was only one or two of them that were full. Yeah, sure, maybe on the advanced ones there'd be like a little corner that's not done. But it, it just refers to size. Most of the intermediate ones are about 32 by 32 I can't remember the size on the big ones, but just from watching Donnie's video and going back to the store and looking, the majority of uh, the intermediate ones are about this size. There may be more than what this one covers, and there may be less. And that goes same with the advanced ones. I can't speak to the beginner ones because I haven't had a chance to look at those yet. That is on my list of things to do. So, I just wanted to clear that up. I did email the company to ask that and to see if they had any other information that they would like me to pass on to you guys they are very busy i got a return email saying that they have had a higher volume of emails lately and i'm assuming it's because of the launch of this these so in walmart i know they've been out for a little while but they're new to walmart and so that's obviously a bigger marketplace than joann's and ac moore and so they're going to get a lot more questions uh, I have not heard anything. If I hear anything before I put this out for you guys, I will insert another clip at the end, like right here. If you don't hear anything else from me, then I have I didn't hear back from them in time, and I will give you the information when I do get it. So, uh, with that being said, let's take a look at our points. So, points. So the overall look of the finished canvas, I do like it. It wasn't what I expected, but not necessarily in a bad way. So it retains the three points for that. The bead quality was excellent, so it retains its points for that. I say it had quite a bit of fun factor, so I give it the full two points. The canvas condition was amazing. Uh, the simple clarity was amazing. And they get the automatic point for communication because there was no need to communicate for the, you know, there was, as far as issues and stuff like that. So it gets the full 10 points. So it, the unboxing got a 10 out of 10. The post review gets a 10 out of 10. So I highly recommend these. They are amazing. Like if you're in between paintings and you're still just waiting on AliExpress or Amazon and your store has these, I say they're the perfect thing to help ease that time in between or if you just want a quick project like sometimes when I do a bigger project I like having something like this to do in between or if I've done a lot of squares it's nice to have around not all partials are bad and I know there's a lot of you guys that don't just don't like partials but I, I think it's worth giving it a try even if you just find one of the beginner ones and just giving it a shot because they if they're like this one I feel is done well there are partials I've seen that just, it, they don't, they look like two separate pictures. To me, this looks like one cohesive picture, and I'm very, very happy with it. So definitely, definitely highly recommend. Um, so let me know, have you guys been able to find them yet? Are you still waiting for your store to get them? Uh, let me know down in the comments. And with that, I will let you guys go. Have an awesome day, have fun crafting, have fun diamond painting, have fun doing whatever it is that makes you happy. I love you friends and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!